Welcome to Cherry's Classroom. Today's lesson is Solving multi-step problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction. You can visit cherriesclassroom.com for more of this lesson. In a one-step word problem, we usually solve it using one operation, addition, subtraction, division, or multiplication. While in a multi-step word problem, we need more than one operation to solve the problem. In this video, we will work on to multiplication and addition or multiplication and subtraction word problems. Here's an example of a multi-step word problem. Trisha collected five trays of duck eggs and two trays of chicken eggs. If each tray contains six eggs, how many eggs are there in all? To solve this, we have to understand the problem. Visualize or picture out what is in the problem. So, Trisha collected five trays of duck eggs and two trays of chicken eggs. If each tray contains six eggs, how many eggs are there in all? Know what is asked in the problem. You can say this, but if you can construct a better phrase or a sentence, the idea will be like this. What are the given facts? Remember, given facts are important numbers in the problem. These numbers are used to solve the problem. Given facts are 5 trays of duck eggs, 2 trays of chicken eggs, and 6 eggs each tray. Then, we have to make a plan. What operation to be used? Which word suggests that we need to multiply, add, or subtract? In the problem, you can see that Trisha has collected 5 trays of duck eggs and 2 trays of chicken eggs. What is this information telling us? Oh, we need to know the total number of trays. Aha! Addition! Seven. Seven trays of eggs. Now it means Trisha collected seven trays of eggs. If each tray contains six eggs, how many eggs are there in all? So how will we now get the total number of eggs? Let's search again. I think there are some more operational clues to the problem. Oh, there! Now, what does this tell us? Yes, we need to multiply. So the number sentence is 6 eggs times 7 trays of eggs. Then solve. Now check. Check if your answer is correct. Finally, state the answer. 42 eggs. What did we do to solve the problem? Understand. Plan. Solve. And check. Now. 
Now, let's have a test. Answers and more of these lesson at cherriesclassroom.com. Click the link below.